love you too. Okay, I have this all figured out. It's an 18 hour trip which breaks into six shifts of three hours. Or we can go by mileage, okay? And I've got the map on the visor which shows you the points where we switch shifts. You okay to do three hours? Right. No, I don't eat between meals. I'll one down the window. I hope this isn't going to be one of those trips with lots of awkward silences. Me too. the story of your life. The story of my life? Well, we've got 18 hours to New York. But... <laughs> the story of my life when he goes out of Chicago. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing's happened to me yet. That's why I'm going to New York. So if something happens to you? Yes. Like what? Well, I'm going to go to journalism school and become a reporter. Ah, so you can write about things that happen to other people. That's one way to look at it. What if nothing happens to you? What if you move there? And nothing happens, you don't become anything, you don't meet anyone, and then you die one of those New York deaths and where no one knows for two weeks until the smell drifts down to the hallway. <laughs> Matt just said you had a dark side. Hmm. That's what drew her to me. <laughs> or your dark side? Yeah. Why? You don't have a dark side? No. You're one of those cheerful people who dots their eyes with little hearts. I have just as much of a dark side as the next person. Oh, really? When I buy a book, I read the last page. That way, if I die, I know what's going to happen in the end. That, my friend, is a dark side. It doesn't make you deep or anything. I mean, I'm, I'm basically a happy person. So am I. I don't see there's anything wrong with that. Of course you don't. You're too busy being happy. Have you ever thought about death? Yes. Mm-hmm. I thought so. It's a little, a little thought that goes across in the transom of your mind. I think about death every hour, every day. And you think that makes you a better person? Well, all I'm saying is when the shit comes down, I'm going to be prepared and you're not. And in the meantime, you're going to waste your entire life waiting for it. Mm. So what are you going to do in New York? I don't know. I just graduated from law school, but now I don't really see myself as a lawyer. I see it more like a jumping off point. I think you should be a lawyer. The kind that does wills. I think you'd be really good at telling people they're gonna die. Czechoslovakia. Then be with the guy that you've had the greatest sex with in your entire life. Just because he owns a bar and that's all he does. Yes, and so would any woman in her right mind. Women are very practical. Even Ingrid Bergman, which is why she gets off the plane at the end of the movie. Oh, I understand. What? Oh, nothing. What? Well, obviously you haven't had great sex. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. I've had plenty of good sex. With whom? I am not going to tell you that. Okay, don't tell me. 
Shell Gordon. Shell. Sheldon? <laughs> no. You haven't had good sex with Sheldon. I'm sorry. I did too. No. Sheldon can do your taxes. If you need a root canal, Sheldon's your guy. But between the sheets, Sheldon's not a strong suit. I love you, Sheldon. Do it to me, Sheldon. I can't get enough of you, Sheldon. It just doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I'll have number 33. Um, you know what? I like the apple pie a la mode, but I like the pie heated. I don't want the ice cream on the top, I want it on the side. And I want strawberry instead of vanilla. And if you don't have it, then, um, you know, not at all. Just whipped cream. But if it's not real, then, you know, nothing. What? Nothing. So, why'd you break up with Sheldon? How do you know we broke up? Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here with me. You'd be with Sheldon, the wonder schlong. <laughs> First of all, I'm not with you. Second of all, it's none of your business why we broke up. Okay. You're right. You're right. It's none of my business. so attractive. Maybe Amanda doesn't think I'm attractive. Well, it's not a matter of opinion. Empirically, 